Welcome back, dear doers. My company, Stealthy Wood, has opened a branch in the United States, Stealthy Wood, Inc. We have even closed our first deal for this branch and will send the first invoice. It's a good occasion to see how things move between accounts. As we saw in the accounting overview, nothing is lost, nothing is created, everything is transformed. So when I issue an invoice of $1,000, my account receivable is debited $1,000. This means that I'm entitled to receive this amount, therefore the balance of this account is positive. Now let's say that my client just paid me on my bank account. That means that $1,000 were debited on my account. The account receivable is at the same time credited of $1,000 and its balance is brought to zero since my client is not in my debt anymore. And now my bank account has a positive balance. Great, and a special thanks to my client who paid very quickly. So let's see what this looks like in my Odoo accounting app. All right, so here I am on my database for my company, Stealthy Wood Inc. Now let's go ahead and dive into the accounting application. So the first thing I'm gonna see here are some shortcuts to help me configure my accounting app. So first let's start with company data. Let's click on the let's start button. Here we're gonna have all of our company information. So we wanna be sure all of this is correct. So for example, I might want to change my website to stealthywood.com. All right, that looks good. So then we'll click on apply. And then we'll see that we're done with this step and we can move on to the next one. So then we'll be prompted to add a bank account. So what we can do is add our bank account so that we can automatically synchronize um, all of our transactions with the bank account. So for example, um, I'm gonna search for my bank, first bank. All right, so I can go ahead and scroll through all the options and then I can choose my bank. So here we have First Bank of Colorado. Okay, I can select this. I see the uh, provider and the online identifier and then I can go ahead and connect. Okay, so if the provider is played, I'm going to have a pop-up like I'll see right now and if it's Yodli, I'm going to be redirected to the Yodli site in order to enter my bank credentials. But let's go ahead and close this for now, okay? And then we can uh, define our fiscal year, the opening and the closing date. Okay, so this will be used to generate our reports automatically. Okay, so by default, it starts on the 1st of January, as you can see here, and it ends on the 31st of December because um, those are the most common opening and closing dates. However, it may vary depending on your company. So you can go ahead and select the opening and closing dates that you would like. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and keep it the way that it is. Again, we can choose the fiscal year end as well. And then apply. All right, this step is also completed. Cool. Now we're gonna go ahead and check out our chart of accounts. Let's go ahead and review. All right, so I'm gonna click on the review button and then I can group by from here. So let's go to account type, for example, and I'm going to see all of my account types. So all of the accounts are already defined according to your company's country. Okay, at the creation of our DB, I selected that my um, company was located in the US. So Odoo automatically installed the appropriate fiscal localization package so that the right accounts, reports, and taxes are ready to go. Okay, so that looks good. If I want to um, reach this page another way, so first of all, let's go back to to the overview. All right, it's gonna say that my chart of accounts are all set. If I wanna to go to my chart of accounts another way, I will go to configuration chart of accounts right here. Okay, if you want to um, create a new account, it's a good practice to duplicate one that already exists that's closest to the new one you're creating so the configuration is correct. This way, all uh, legal reports will be correctly generated. All right. Let's go back to our overview. Okay, so from here we can go ahead and remove these uh, shortcuts. So I'm going to close this. Okay, yes, I do want to remove the configuration panel. Okay, and then we're going to see our journals and some other information right here on our dashboard. Okay, and if we want to go to some other shortcuts, we simply have to click on these three little dots that you'll see in the corner of all of these um, sections. Okay, and then you'll have some other options as well. All right, and this will um, automatically have the filter favorites. However, you can re remove this to have more information on your dashboard right here. Now let's go ahead and create a new invoice. All right, we can do this from going to customers, invoices, and creating a new one, or we can create a new one right here from the dashboard. So let's go ahead and click on new invoice. I'm gonna choose my customer, Azure Interior. 
Azure Interior is going to purchase a large cabinet. Now, something I want to point out quickly here is that um, since we are starting to use the accounting application, we have this new column here, account. Okay, we didn't have this when we were just using the invoicing application. So let's go ahead and validate. All right, and then we're going to register a payment and validate again. Looks good. Now when we scroll down to the bottom, we're going to see that this invoice has been paid for. And if we click on the little I, we can have more information about the payment. So we see that this um, payment and this invoice have been reconciled together. Okay, if we need to unreconcile, we simply need to click the unreconcile button, or we can also view. All right, from the invoice still, let's go to the other info tab. All right, from here, of course, we have some other info. All right, so we have the journal um, that this is related to. Of course, it's customer invoices. We even have the account. Okay, and we're also going to see the journal entry that was automatically generated as well for this invoice. So let's go ahead and check that out right now by simply clicking on it. All right, so here I have a, a journal entry. Okay, so this is composed of at least two journal items. So the first line here is a debit in the account receivable, as we see here. So this is what my client owes me. And the second line is the amount of taxes, and the third is for the product sales. Both of these are credited, which we see here. So at the bottom, we're gonna see that the debit and the credit are balanced, which is very important, of course. So just to be sure that we're not missing any information, I'm just gonna move my face, and you'll see that behind my face is simply uh, the due dates. All right, so we're not missing any um, extremely important information there. All right, and the most important thing, of course, is that everything is balanced. Okay, we can even go to the reconciled entries right here. But for now, we're gonna go to customers and then payments and select the last one, which is the payment um, that we just created for the invoice. Okay, and then we from here, we can access our journal items and also our invoices. But let's go straight to our journal items. All right, so here we see that our client um, paid us $368. This amount is debited on the bank account, all right, which we see here, um, whereas it's credited on the account receivable. Okay, so our client doesn't owe us that amount anymore, which is great. Again, we have a balance between our debit and our credit. All right, now to see all of our journal entries, we simply have to go to accounting, and journal entries here. All right, this is where you can create journal entries manually if you need to. Um, so by default, the filter will be miscellaneous operations. Um, and this is defined since all other entries are generated automatically by Odoo. Okay, so when we create a new one, we're gonna see that miscellaneous operations right here. And that's all for the basics. However, be sure you stay tuned for the other accounting videos. Thank you for watching.